Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. In this video, I will show you how you can identify Google using bounce rate for SEO or not. Okay, so most of the time people are asking me to talk about the bounce rate, like they are just understanding that Google are using bounce rate for SEO. Let me explain what is bounce rate and how it works. Okay, so bounce rate is the percentage of visitor who leave your site after viewing only one page. Okay. It's tracked by Google Analytics, not by search crawlers. Example, if 100 people land on your page and 70 people leave without clicking anything else, your bounce rate will be 70%. Let me explain in one by one. Here is my site, Boostify. You can see this site will help you to do the AI SEO without doing manual SEO. If you want to use it, then just enter your email here and hit the get started for one euro okay let me explain if i use the similar web similar web is a site or extension which help us to know about the site visitor you can see here is my site visitor of this month monthly visiting in april 2025 is like approximately 5000 plus 5000 okay near the 5000 and you can see my bounce rate is 21.73 percent like if i get 100 views in my website 100 visitor like 21 people are going to without clicking okay now you can see the bounce rate is 21 and page per visit is 3.95 and monthly visit is 4.9k and average duration is 4 minute 28 second okay so here is the bounce rate so now let me tell you how bounce rate work and how you can identify your bounce rate as well you can use similar way okay now let me explain one by one here you can see clarify google's official position so if you go to the your google search console and if you have the google search console website then just enter your search property and you can see the average position of your current position of your site in the google so my position is 13.8 in google so you can identify it by using your on Google search console so Google has officially stated that bounce rate is not directly ranking factor so you can use this method that bounce rate is not a direct ranking factor okay now introduce user engagement metrics that matters instead of bounce rate Google only focuses on dual time dual time means how long a user stays on your page click through rate like CTR from your search result if you see my CTR is 3.8 percent average CTR you need to maintain like over 10 percent over 15 percent if your CTR is good then you can expect a better result okay now here you can see the session duration and content interaction for analytic insight so if you see here is the total three months position and average CTR and each and everything here it is showing just a moment connecting okay here you can see the top pages and devices search appearances and each and everything queries pages all are showing here so if you want to get a better session duration then you can use similar web session duration means you can see how much people are spending in my website average visit duration you can see 4 minute 28 second okay now here is the show when bounce rate might indirectly matter bounce rate only matter when bounce rate can signal poor content if you are creating without any contextual content and if you are creating without any meaningful content then you cannot expect a better bounce rate or you cannot decrease your bounce rate okay you can see if your content mismatch in search intent and also if your content get the answer quickly and not necessarily bad and you can see the context is matter context is always matter bounce rate or alone does not define quality so if i go to my site and showing you here you can see here is my site and now you enter this site and after that you can see just scrolling scrolling and there is no thing you can read it here then when you will see everything here then typically you will leave this site because there is no information to read if you see this site is just only a meaningless site then you cannot expect a better bounce rate for your site as well okay now you can see how to analyze bounce rate properly just use google analytics like ga4 and then segment by page source device you can use some site like bounce rate checker bounce rate checker 
if you go to the bounce rate checker then you can see here is the free website traffic checker or bounce rate checker you can see this site is a site and you can see here is the site option so i will copy my website link boostify and i will check my bounce rate because i already checked my bounce rate but you can check your own website bounce rate by using some other tools you can see full analysis to registration required so i'll not use any registration i can use other site check traffic you can see organic traffic is zero just showing this because of traffic value the, you know, this is a subdomain so i'll use exact url check traffic okay so here is showing only specific url that's why it is showing but you can use similar way for your website here you can see the similar way and you can see the page per visit monthly visit average duration and bounce rate and each and everything okay now the last thing is tips to reduce bounce rate if needed you can improve your page speed add internal links enhance content readability and visuals and also match your user intent so your keyword will be similar so people can interact with you directly okay like you can improve your page speed like you can check your page speed checker you can see page speed checker if you go to this site you can check your website page speed so i'll enter my website here is analyze you can see here is my full speed just wait here diagnose performance issue they are showing the result for, they will show you the result for mobile and desktop as well just wait here okay and also you can see the conclusion is so does bounce rate matter for seo directly no google does not use bounce rate as a ranking signal indirectly yes it reflects user satisfaction and content quality focus on user experience engagement and intent matching then you can expect a better result you can see they are showing my performance is 57 and accessibility best practices seo and also each and everything they are showing so i think for the mobile is 57 and desktop is very good S performance is 68 fcp and other thing is very good so i think my site is okay so if you want to check your site as well then you can use similar way boostify and also use you can page speed insight okay and also you can improve your quality by focusing on these steps thank you very much for watching if you feel this video is important please subscribe